Hello there everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing another review, but it's not really a character review, it's more on a, um, uh, it's, it's on the, uh, face and the brand of Thomas, and it is Thomas himself, but today we are going to be looking at the very first Thomas train I had. And it's going to blow your mind, so this Thomas train I had to clean him, wash him, um, and do all that jazz. Just so he would be clean, because what would happen? Because uh, when I found him, he was all grimy and greasy and sooty and dirty, and well, let's just say it's all filthy. I also hope you enjoy the new um, road added to the track. I just gonna do that. Show you right there. So, like I said, here's my original Thomas from when I was a child. The front. Um, you have, yeah, his uh, buffers are a little chipped up, but that's nothing too bad. He has his, he has his lamp, two lamp irons, excuse me. Uh, his face is one of my favorite faces. It's the best Thomas face I've ever think we've gotten. I wish they would have used this. It just replicates the model era per, uh, near damn perfectly. Excuse me. Um, there is this little chip right here on Thomas's forehead. I'll bring this closer. Uh, that chip, I think what happened years ago is I, uh, dropped this Thomas in my hallway, and he, uh, his, no um, forehead chipped, so that's why he has a, uh, chipped forehead. Excuse me. But it makes him look all the more unique. He has a, um, it makes him look like he has hair. Moving over to the side... I t uh, he had no coupling rods, so that's nothing different. Um, originally, when I did play with him, he did have coupling rods, but I t but when I found him, he didn't have those. I removed his side decaling because those were the ones that were that was covered in grease and grime and soot and dirt and all that. But I really like you can see his uh, red stripes up there and his sticker um, for his cab windows did not come off, which thank goodness that didn't. And I also like the yellow lining that still stayed intact around his cab. Moving around to the back, it's a little bit more grime. It's a little bit more, you can see a bit more of the residue of the grime, but it's not as bad. Um, I like he, his buffers are, still have those chipping on them, which that's fine. His coal, this was my first time looking at plastic coal, and it looks amazing. It looked like actual uh, toy coal, like replicated it. Excuse me. Um, and then on the other side, not much other than this white little whatever this is on his... I don't know if that was paper that melted or if it was paint. Come on, focus. Or whatever that was. But whatever it is, I don't know what it is. I just can't get it off. It doesn't wipe off. Um, Thomas has no tires uh, because... Uh, when I found him, uh, the tires were not on him. That's fine. Uh, and also, his, uh, almost all the nails, I think, are... Okay, no, only his middle, uh, um, thing here is rusted. Yeah, that's rusted. So when I pulled him apart, I had to kind of, you know, really use a lot of, you know, force. Excuse me. Thomas's name is printed crystal clear. Um, and uh, that's pretty, it looks all pretty good. And then here we are up at the front. So that is a, gr so this is my childhood Thomas, and it just looks amazing. I feel so blessed to have this. I, I feel like I'm going back in time again as a kid, and it just makes me feel uh, great. Uh, one more thing, though, is that when I removed his motor, or removed the gears inside his motor, his, uh, his thing is now freewheeling. I can have him, if he, he's freewheels all the time. Kind of like, oh, hang on. Kind of like, Jinty! <laughs> Excuse me. All the only difference is, is that Jinty is detail, has side rods, and is, um, much better looking. But uh, speaking of Jinty, that gives me a great topic into an, in our next subject. 
So if you haven't noticed, but I've already, if you haven't checked out the recent video, you better do that. It's the I did the series finale of my um, episodes series for um, Enterprising Engines. For now, the series is going on hiatus. Um, but what I'm doing is I've made a little layout here of um, excuse me of the uh, yard, my version of a yard, uh, and it's and. My idea is I'm creating a show that is like Thomas, but it's going to be Jinty as the main character. And Pug over there is going to be his friend. Same with um, six, uh, 13. And then his gr Jinty's girlfriend is going to be Rosie. Red Rosie. Ooh. And then like season three or four, they get like married. Uh, and I don't know how far long these episodes are going to run for. I'm going to... I think since I want to do a lot of seasons, so I think I'll just strive to do five or eight. So yeah, um, but yeah, I got a lot of great engines here and assets to use. So well, make sure you look at. So make sure you look at that. It'll be coming probably next year sometime because I um, I might release a few promos and a few previews uh, uh, beforehand just as a little like you know heads up. Um, but it will be a long series, kind of, um, uh, it, I, I don't want it to go as long as the Thomas series, but I do at least want it to go around the same length, maybe 13 seasons, probably, or 12, I don't know, but whatever. Uh, let's get back to our original topic. So I want to thank you all again so much for watching. Thanks for, um, uh, tuning into this, uh, to this review. Uh, I'm going to make sure, I'm going to, I'm pumping out as many reviews as I can, because... I got a lot of characters I like to talk about. Um, he and um, I'm really glad I was able to go over a childhood memory. And uh, with all that said, thank you, Thomas. And he's gonna go back on my shelf. Elf on the shelf. Shelf on the elf. Shelf on the elf. Elf, elf, elf on the shelf. Having <laughs> some fun there. All right. Bye, everyone.